At DLD this year, I talked about the government program called PRISM, which is probably the biggest technology story in the world in 2013 and probably also in 2014. PRISM is the name that we give to the series of government surveillance programs in the United States that are coming to a cell phone near you. Mm. So I was here to explain PRISM, what it is and what it's not. What is surprising and what's not. In the discussion of PRISM in the last year, there's been a lot of heat, mm. but not a lot of light. And so I was here to offer some light. We know now that PRISM, Prism. was intended to be and was successfully an international program of surveillance, mostly outside of the United States. Mm. And PRISM dove deeply into the data that had to do with non-Americans, more than for Americans. My company, Reputation.com, does two things. We protect reputation and we protect privacy. My talk today at DLD was mostly about the privacy part of our mission. But reputation is still the biggest part of our revenue. Mm -hmm. And I think for the Turkish audience, it's probably the most important part of what we do. No, absolutely not. I think the interest in reputation for the Turkish market is probably mostly a, a function of the fact that you have this very strong developing economy that's mm -hmm. becoming a developed economy mm -hmm. with 80 million people, mm -hmm. very sophisticated country, very sophisticated population with a very, very sophisticated upper class, a growing middle class, mm -hmm. with sure. increasing purchasing power. And when you see this happen in a very powerful press that is very strongly opinionated, and very strong political parties that have different interests that are expressed online. Mm -hmm. And when you have this set of facts, when you have this set of facts, people who are owning businesses, who have profiles in business or in government or in their community, they are often discussed very voluminously. They're discussed a lot on the internet. Sometimes fairly and often not fairly. Sometimes accurately, often not accurately. So our technology, including for Turkish customers, gives them a voice on the internet so that they can be understood on the internet accurately with an accurate reputation. Turkey is sort of for us a kind of part of the MENA market, right? So Turkey looks a lot like some of Eastern Europe for us uh, or Israel for us that might be a controversial comment, but I'm making an economic comment, not a political comment. Mm -hmm. The Gulf of the Middle East looks very different. It's mm -hmm. a very small population at the top of the political and socioeconomic ladder who can afford our products. But Turkey, you have a broad middle class that's growing with a stronger and stronger voice. Mm -hmm. And when they have means and commerce and voice, they want also their truth to be told on the internet. Mm -hmm. So the most powerful virtue of the internet is that it gives you democratic access to information and a democratic voice. Mm. However, sometimes if you're a small business owner or a large business owner, this can really kill you. And so we give you the tools to tell your truthful story on the internet.